It seems that there are very few voices today that are urging caution when it comes to marijuana. Kevin Sabet, co-founder of Smart Approaches to Marijuana, is one of them. Now, Kevin, your group initially sounds like they're just urging caution with marijuana when it comes to kids, which a lot of pro-pot activists agree with, but then the group is labeled as anti-pot. Now, would you describe your group as anti-pot or just trying to be the voice of reason? Well, we're a public health oriented group that's partners with most major medical associations. And in fact, the president of some of those associations are on our board as well. So, you know, we're a public health science oriented group, but we are trying to urge caution about the fact that we're really on the road here in this country of creating the next tobacco industry. Now, you left the Obama administration in 2011. Did you have any idea that Attorney General Eric Holder was going to come out suggesting that enforcement policy kind of focus their efforts elsewhere? Well, look, I mean, I don't think any of us ever wanted to focus federal enforcement efforts on low-level marijuana users. That was never, uh, uh, frankly, a focus for the Bush administration, let alone the Obama administration. What I was a bit surprised about, though, um, was the fact that there was going to be no intervention uh, in Colorado and Washington after they voted to essentially affirmatively violate federal law by selling a uh, controlled substance, an illegal drug, and profiting off of it um, as a government. I mean, that directly contradicts the federal statute. So I was surprised that that was going to be uh, looked over. And what I really worry about and what I've told my former colleagues, both in public and private, is that my concern is that the position that they have, which is we'll go in and intervene if things get out of hand. You brought up a good point about the federal issues and, and your group says that rescheduling won't help, but that keeps marijuana from being considered a medicinal property. And yet your group advocates moving marijuana to pharmacy. So I'm a little confused. That seems a little contradictory. Well, it's not because it's no more contradictory as it is saying we need to legalize opium in order to get the effects of morphine. I mean, nobody would call morphine medical opium. So is there anything positive that you would say about marijuana? Sure. The components of marijuana have medicinal properties and they should be further researched. I mean, this is an area of exciting research. We should uh, go forward with that. We we have preclinical data and some anecdotes showing that uh, children with intractable epilepsy may be treated with a component in marijuana called CBD that does not get you high. We should definitely research that more. And in fact, even before we fully research it, we should get it into the hands of those who desperately need it. That's very different, though, than legalizing marijuana and, you know, selling $1 joints if you show your ski pass, which is what they're doing in Colorado right now. I think that's a big problem. All right. Well, tomorrow we're probably going to hear more from Attorney General Eric Holder as he's expected to answer some questions on marijuana policy at an enforcement hearing. That was Kevin Sabet of Smart Approaches to Marijuana. And I'm Deborah Borchart for The Street.